Game day. Big day. It's on. big barrels in the bowl. It's coming. Oh yeah. Day one of competition. It looks real fun out there, but like the boys have been saying all day, the swell's on the buoy. So we're looking at six foot waves right now and it's gonna double easy. It's looking phenomenal. Really good wave. Every winter on the North Shore has some days that mean more than others. Welcome to one of those days. The Vans World Cup at sunset gives some a chance to simply ride along the sport's best. For others, it is a gateway to the World Championship Tour. The opportunity to perform unites them. The shot at proving who they are drives them. This is in-house, road to the Volcom Pipe Pro. With the Vans World Cup set to begin in a few hours, Leandro Dora, the Brazilian coach of WCT surfer Adriano de Souza, is headed south to the Honolulu International Airport. É, eu estou indo até o aeroporto pegar meu filho, o Iago, que está chegando no Hawaii para mais uma temporada. É, eu acho que acredito que seja a oitava temporada dele. Iago is 19 and one of the most promising free surfing talents in Brazil. This winter, he'll be continuing his training on the North Shore with his sights set on the Volcom Pipe Pro and a future run at the WCT. It's really good to have a lot of surfers together because one pushes each other to go out and to try to surf good and the boys are always there to tie Kaimana and Tom to, to help us out with everything we need and it feels really comfortable here. Right. See you brother. <laughs> top, you're very top. Good, kicked him. We kicked him out. <laughs> I think the first year I stayed at the Volcom house was probably four years ago. And it was my first time, so I was really scared about it. I didn't know anyone, and all the locals stay here at the Volcom house pretty much all day long. And when I was a little kid, I was super scared about the locals. And now that I know a bunch of them, they're like super cool guys, and they really they have a really good heart, and I feel comfortable here now. Iago Dora may have only arrived a few hours ago, but there's no sense wasting time. And alongside fellow free surfer Balaram Stack, he heads out to check the waves. Yeah, jaw cuts could be sick. Should we check logs or just go straight there? I think you should check it. Yeah? You surf rubber duckies? No. No? Oh, yeah, over here? Yeah. Yeah, I did it. It's fun. <laughs> Back to bed. <laughs> Should we even check anywhere else? Let's I mean, check Freddy Land. Freddy Land?
course, there's a lot of expectations about me. Mostly people in Brazil, they like want me so bad to be a competitor, to be in the world tour, and I want to do things in my own time, and I know it's going to happen one day. I just want to improve my surfing, get as good as I can, like before everything, and when I'm good enough, I, I'm going to be there. out there, some ramps. I was trying to land the, the double spin air. Got pretty close on two of them. But uh, I was too tired to keep trying right now. I'm gonna try next time again. <laughs> I, think I, I think I can make it. <laughs> 